I ain't mad at Chai is a hip hop <laughs> rap musical set in 1999 in Gisborne, the last place that you'd expect to ever see Tupac or Biggie Smalls. To tell us more about this exciting show, please welcome to the cafe Mahirawa Rohina, Ravi Gurunathan, and James Jennings. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Um, Mahirawa, let's start with you. You're the producer of the show. This is your first time producing anything. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's been it's been quite an incredible challenge. Um, I've learned a lot. And yeah, it's just a good a good thing to do, you know, diversify mm. from Always good to diversify. So mm. tell us a bit about the show. Um, yeah, as you said, it's it's it, it's based in Gisborne, um, 1999. It basically follows a couple of days in the life of our lead, um, and his name is Kiwa Bolton. Um, and just, just the um, the issues that he sort of faces, all the challenges that he faces, um, you know, your average sort of teenage stuff, but also, um, uh, what is it? Um, Institutionalized racism is mm. a big one thing, and and the the effects that that has on him and and also the community that he lives in. Yeah, mm. it's very interesting. That's very topical at the moment too. Mm. Yes, it is, oh, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And James, you play Ashton. Yes. What do you like about this? Because this is the first time the show's ever been done. Isn't yes, it? mm. it's a completely original show by our writer um, uh, Tureen Tureen. Jones, mm. and um, yeah, it's completely original. Um, it's a hip hop musical. Um, I've never seen one before, and I get to be a part of one. So it, it's it's awesome. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and we get to play with. Um, Freestyling, yeah, rapping, dude. and all that stuff, and <laughs> again, uh, being completely original as well. It's like it's it's written by us, mm. um, it, and we we kind of cater to our own kind of style and stuff like wow. that. Wow! Yeah. So your character doesn't really like rap very much. No, he doesn't. But luckily, he, you've got a bestie who does though. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, and these guys these guys are awesome at it too. Yeah, yeah they do a really good job. Uh, yeah, I play um, two characters in the play. Yeah. Uh, one of them I'll talk about. His name is Jamal. Uh, he's like an Indian kid uh, that just moved to the to Gisborne to this new school, and he's really gotten into rap since he's been there. And like, uh, he's just great. I love him. He's just like me as a seventeen-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you guys do a little, like a little something for us? Because you've been uh, sitting over there doing it every time. You know, so we want you to do like a little rap or something for us. Uh, yeah, yeah. Rap, 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 okay, rap, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Picture witnessing the plane slaying, bodies laying, blood's draining, forgot your name in. Blood's the ransom for whom you're praying. See what I'm framing? You better step back before I pull out my lyrical gat. Aim it at your head and make the thing go black, black. Lazy as heck, that's all I hear. Living those lives shaped like pears, like Tendoka. I got you stumped. You ever ask your girl about the first guy she. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm just kidding, I can never play that villain I ain't sorry, take your brother straight to heaven In 97, Big Papa was killed In 99, your fate was sealed yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, I'll, I have to go and see this Okay, so <laughs> What's well, in some rapping? Yeah. Yeah. No, that just Shocker. looks, that just looks <laughs> <laughs> so, so why do you think There was, I guess, you know A pull towards rap for Pacific Island For Māori <clears> as well, particularly Back in the 90s, why would you? What, what would you say about that? Yeah, I, I guess um, a lot of it stems from um, things being so the culture being being squashed down, um, and so um, that a lot of Māori and Pacific Islanders didn't really know what to grasp onto, and mm. then yeah. hip hop became a big thing. It was coming over from America. It was flooding, flooding everything, and mm. so that was something they could grasp onto. But also the um, the challenges that that you know that they were facing over there are really well, really similar to mm. so they they could relate and so mm -hmm. that was an outlet for them. Yeah. yeah, and James, it's all original music in the show. It's all original. Um, yeah, we, we've got some music from a friend of ours. Um, sorry. Soul Chef. Soul, Soul Chef. Chef. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's all original original music, and mm -hmm. again, we've we've written the stuff ourselves. Wow. And our director Jatinder Singh, he wrote a lot of the raps too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, Exciting. Uh, then, mm. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Ravi, you know, obviously you said that this relates to your life when you're doing this. When you're doing this, is there an element of real life for you to it? Um, I actually got to write one of my raps that I do in the play myself, and I don't know. It feels like a really great outlet for me to just be able to just rap my heart out on stage, you know. Just have the opportunity to do that sort of thing. You know? oh, yeah, it's cool. nice. It's nice. nice. Okay, Excellent. Nice. And on that note, on that rap, I'm going to rap as well. Hey guys, thank you so much for coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been wonderful having no you here. The show sounds fantastic. I am Mad at Chat is currently playing at the Basement Theatre. For more info, you can head along to the iTicket website.